Hello, today we will be creating a copy of an assignment in order to make it available to only SDRC students. In order to do this, we need to start by going into our course management menu and down to the course tools submenu. After we're in the course tools menu, you're going to want to select tests, surveys, and pools. Once we are in this menu, you can see there are several options given between test surveys and pools. For today's purposes, we will be using the test feature, which automatically stores any test you create within the Blackboard environment of your course. Once we've selected the test, you can see that it brings up a list of all assigned tests. Um, typically, tests are used to create assignments or quizzes within the Blackboard environment, and you can see here that we have many assignments that have been made available through this feature. This feature will give you a few good options that you can use. From this menu, you can build a test, import a test using an Excel spreadsheet, or you can copy an already existing test. In order to do this, we will always click on our gray submenu button that comes when we hover over assignment one, and we will select copy. Once the test has been successfully copied, you will see a green success bar at the top of the menu, and that will alert us that yes, indeed, we have created this test and it is available. Now, once it's been made available, you will notice a few things that are different between it and assignment one. First, the name is, is different so that we don't get confused. Also, you will notice that it has not been deployed. What that means is it hasn't been assigned to an actual test within the Blackboard environment that students can use. The other thing that you will see is a date last edited field so you know when the content or when it was created. Um, we want to go back to the submenu and select edit so that we can rename this to easily find it later when we assign it to the actual assignment for the SDRC students. In order to do that, we will select the gray submenu folder again and select edit next to the title. Once you've done this, it'll bring up your main test information page where it'll allow you to rename it in any form you want. In this case, we're going to put SDRC within the parentheses. You can also add a description of the test and also instructions. The description will show in the actual folder. The instructions and description will both show on the actual test page before students begin the test. So if there are certain instructions you want to give outside of the parameters you set in the test options, you can let students know by including it in this screen. Once we've renamed it, of course we want to push submit so that Blackboard knows to save this information. Again, you will see that we get the green success bar letting us know that it has been edited accordingly and you can see the updated title here in the very top of the test. Now, as you can see below, all of our test questions have successfully copied over with their answers and the pre-assigned point value that was in the original assignment. Once we've done this, you are all set with your copied test and you're ready to deploy it to your students. In order to do that, we will go to our assignments folder in Blackboard and we will create this test out of the stored tests um, that have been made available via the test feature. In order to do this, we will go to our assessment button and select test. Now, you will get a list of tests that have not been deployed yet, but you want to scroll down and select the test that you need. In this case, it's going to be assignment 1, SDRC. As always, we're clicking submit. Once you have created that, again, you will notice the green success bar, and it will bring up automatically the test options page. From here, you can select your test availability, due dates, assessment options, feedback and presentation settings, and as always, we want to click Submit to save. You've now created your assignment 1 SDRC.
Now in order to make sure that it goes to the right place, it automatically goes into the assignments folder. But since we're using a subfolder system in this course, we would like to put it into the actual week one folder. In order to do that, we need to go into our submenu under the gray arrow and select move. Once we select move, we will be brought to the move page and we want to select the destination folder for this specific assignment. By selecting browse, we open up a new menu that populates with all of the course folders available to us in Blackboard. Now since this is for week one assignment one, we're going to select week one assignment one as the folder and click, click submit to save. As you notice, we will also get another green success bar that the item has been moved, and we can click directly on the week one folder and open it to see that indeed assignment number one SDRC is now available. Now, after you've created an SDRC assignment, we only want to make it available to certain students. In order to do that, we need to click the gray submenu again and select Adaptive Release Advanced. If you don't know how to create rules in Adaptive Release Advanced, I would like to direct you to the tutorial on the Adaptive Release Advanced available via the College of Business video Blackboard tutorial site. This is Aiden Sizemore with how to create a copied assignment or test in Blackboard.